Hello everybody and welcome to another video session right here at our Switch social media. Thank you all for watching. And for this video series, uh, what I'm going to share today is actually something quite interesting. A lot of people don't really know that. Uh, it's something called file reversion. Uh, what I mean by reverting, reverting files, something quite simple. Let's say you have a document, you did some edit, did some changes, and then you save. And then you open it in the future, you did some changes, and you save again. What if you want to get back your old document? How do you do that? If you have not saved a backup copy, you're in deep trouble. So in OS X, for keynote number pages, even no, uh, text edit for example, you can actually revert. You can browse the version of the files and you can actually go back to a previous version. This has no relation to Time Machine, which is a separate video. Please check it out inside our social media video list. But it's something that's built in that you do not even need to plug in an external hard drive. It stays on your computer. So instead of just keep on saying it, let me show it to you. All right, so now you're looking at a standard OS X El Capitan operating system screen. And what you're seeing is what you should see if you, this is the first time you turn on your Mac. As usual, with all video, I'll be using a few teaching aids. If I click on the screen, you'll see some feedback to tell you that I'm actually clicking my mouse. From time to time, you can also see me doing a zooming in, zooming out, so you can focus on certain parts of the interface. So let's talk about reverting a file. So where can you find it? Where's this feature? To demonstrate that, I'm going to be launching this application, Keynote Number and Pages, which allows you to do Word documents, spreadsheet, and presentation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just simply launch Pages. This is the first time, so I'm going to go continue. I'm going to create a new document. And from here, there's a lot of templates. It's very cool. Please check out our videos on pages in social media. But for the sake of this example on reverting a file, I will just simply select essay. So now I got my first document and I'm going to start by saving this file. So I'm going to click on save and I'm going to save this to my desktop. Let's call it can't example and I'm going to save. Okay, so now I got my document right over here. Now I'm going to do some changes. So I'll start by typing here switch social media and then I'll save it using a shortcut command S. Okay, I save that. Then I'm going to add a shape. Let me just drag it over here. Let me just drop it around here. And I'll save this again. Again, I'll use shortcut, command S. Then I'm going to type something here. Then I'm going to save. You can see that here it says edited, so I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to add a photo. This is linked to my photos application. So I'll drag a nice cute baby photo, a smiling one. And I'll drop it inside here. Okay, it looks very cute. Done. Save. Let me add another shape put it somewhere around here. By the way, for those who didn't know, Pages does very beautiful documents. The text flows around it. Let me add another baby photo. Ooh, so that one messes it up. Let me drag it at the bottom here. Let me get another baby photo, drag it into this triangle. Okay, so now you notice that I've saved a few times. Now I'm gonna do something drastic. I'm gonna delete this, delete this, delete this, save. Take this away, save. Take this all away, save. Take everything here away, save. And then I'm going to close this document and quit pages. Now, let's continue with reverting a file. You'll notice here that in my icon here, the file was wet, we less left it. We lost everything. So what if I open it right now? You notice that it's exactly as we last left it. Everything is gone. How do we revert? Well, this is where Apple has a built-in revert option, where you can browse all the version of a particular file, as long as it's on your Mac. Again, ladies and gentlemen, in order for this to work, your file must be on your Mac. When you click on Browse All Version, you will bring this into a timeline view, similar to Time Machine. So you can check out social media for Time Machine. On the right side, you have a timeline view where you can use it to quickly jump to a particular point in time. Or you can use the arrow here on the right side where you can click 
and it can show you the last changes made for each save. So thanks to this reversion option, you can revert back to a previous version. So maybe I want this. This is the one which I last had. Yeah, correct, this is what I want. I click on the button here for restore, and this will bring it and replace my existing file. So right now, this is the file I want. I'm safe. My file is there. All the content is there. If I open in the future and I say that, hmm, maybe I want back the one I used previously, go to file, revert, browse all versions. Again, I get to see everything I've done so far. Maybe, perhaps I just want to copy a certain thing. Let's say I want to say, I want to copy this part. I can just select the item, do a shortcut, copy, come over here, do a shortcut and paste to replace it. So you don't necessarily need to pull the entire file out, you can just simply copy and paste certain item. So this is a cool feature that is part of Keynote Numbers and Pages and is in any application that support this option, revert to. So besides Keynote Numbers and Pages, you can even use, say, text edit. So let me just bring text edit. In file, he also has the revert as well. So try it out and please use Kino Number Pages. This is a very cool feature that can even save and help you in recovering things that you need for a particular document or particular file.